Howdy folks, this is Rob with MTG Investor, and I'm putting out an alert, actually two alerts, uh, or two watches, kind of alerts, kind of like what I'm really strong on, and a watch or something that I want to keep an eye on, but uh, the first card I really want to talk about is Gurmog Angler. Um, Gurmog Angler showed up in a Grixis Delver deck in Legacy Top 8, actually showed up in the first place deck by Noah Walker, and he played two Gurmog Anglers. Uh, which is the delve? It's a black and six. Um, it delves. It's a five five. I uh, put down a uh, kind of a watch on this for the full version of it. The full version right now on SEG is six bucks, but they are sold out at six bucks. Um, about two months ago, I want to say it was about two months ago, three months ago, or very shortly after it came out, Fate Reforged, whenever that was. This card was a like two three dollar foil, and it got play pretty quickly in a Legacy um, top eight deck. And so I've been keeping an eye on it since then, and it's kind of pretty much sat at six bucks. Didn't have a lot of movement, didn't see a lot of play in Legacy. Maybe showed up another time, but really not that much. It showed up again in a first place deck, and so that's going to make people take notice. Um, so on eBay right now, there's only like a couple listings. This is a Monday, May 26. It's like six or six fifty on eBay. On SEG, it sold out at six bucks, and so I can see this moving. Um, long term, you know that I think Tasker is an amazing buy. I think it's going to be a really valuable card in four or five years. And um, this Angler is a little bigger than uh, Tasker, so when it, they square up against each other, um, Angler wins head to head. Um, and if Tasker gets out of hand, then Angler could be a really good pickup for people who want to play a Tasker but can't afford it, so if they can pick up the Anglers. Anyway, I, I'm I'm going to go ahead and pick up a play set of anglers just to just to kind of hang on to and see what happens because i have a feeling those are going to kind of move up and the other card that i want to take a look at is hooting mandrels hooting mandrels showed up in the first place deck the teamer delver deck by jordan bolsvert the seg open um, the modern top eight anyway he played uh four hooting mandrels in his uh deck he in the teamer delver deck um, is playing a deck very similar to one that I really wanted to do some play testing with. I put it down on paper, but I didn't ever get around to it. His, his deck's a little different than mine. I wanted to play a Sultai version. He's playing a Teamer version. But anyway, it's just a ton of little one casting cost spells, instants, counters, mill effects, things like that, to try to fill up the yard real fast, because I wanted to play Mandrels and Gurmug Angler and Tasker all in my deck, and I just wanted to turbo them out as fast as I could. I wanted to delve them out on turn two or three or four and just have just huge beats going. His is a little more um, refined than my version was. Uh, I think my idea was good on paper, but it would have needed a lot of uh, tuning to get right. He had more time, obviously, than I than I want to put into it. So anyway, congratulations to Jordan. Um, but the Hooting Mandrels, those are three dollars on SCG. There's 11 in stock as I look at it right now. Um, I suspect those will probably sell out in the next 24 to 48 hours. On eBay you can find them for about three fifty. Um, so they're, they've jumped up in price on eBay a little bit in the last 24 hours. So um, I'm going to pick up a place out of these also uh, just to hang on to. I like, I like Mandrills uh, because uh, Teamer is a little more popular right now. Although Grixis is uh, in Modern is gaining popularity, Black has been added to the Twin decks. They've been playing Tasker and a little bit Discard, which I think is a really smart thing to do. Either one of these cards, I think both are good to watch. Uh, if you don't want to jump on them right now, then that's cool because that's why I'm just calling this a watch. I think I'm going to call alerts like uh, something that I think is a pretty strong buy and watches is something you should keep an eye on. So usually when cards make top eights like this, there's like an initial frenzy and then the price kind of falls back down a little bit. So you might want to wait a few days before to pick up these or maybe you want to try to get them this week as soon as possible. Um, also, Culligan's Command, I wanted to mention this. I put out an alert on that last week. I picked up several of those on eBay last week, um, 16 of them, I believe. I wanted to mention that in the modern top decks at uh, the SEG, three of the top nine decks were running Culligan's Command, and five of the top 12 decks were running Culligan's Command. There were basically two ofs in the deck. I think there was a one of or something, and then there were some sideboards, but I still think that's a really strong play, so if you're not in on that, then, uh, you know, think about that. So this has been Rob with MTG Investor. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and happy trading, guys.